Oh, this is a fun one. So it, it that's really, charity. <laughs> it really boils down to understanding someone's communication style and being able to adapt in a manner that meets the person where they're most comfortable. And so I think the biggest challenge that I see with people and especially with teams is that you have in, in automotive, we have a lot of really, really, let's just say big personalities sometimes no. in certain apartments. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes that can be, you know, just because of that type of communication, someone might misread someone else that's a little more introverted or a little more analytical as being aloof or withdrawn or being, you know, oh, that, that person doesn't get it. They're not with the team. Well, it actually had nothing to do with, with that. It was who they are as a person. Their personality is hardwired in a very different way. And so I think we have to realize that with our customers too. A lot of times salespeople, regardless if it's, you know, service advisor, sales consultant, BEC, we oftentimes are more comfortable with the people that are like us and so it's harder sure. for us to communicate when someone is a little bit different. And so for me personally, I'm extroverted and I might take someone that's introverted as being, oh, they are not interested in me or they don't like me or there's something there. Well, being able to take the skill to recognize, no, that's not, they're not, they don't have anything against Sarah. They don't have anything against who I am. They're processing information they're introverted, they're thinking about what I'm saying, they're processing it in a little bit of a different way and being able to respect that person for who they are and then even adapt how I'm communicating with them to make them more comfortable. Absolutely. You know, and, and so for Quantum 5, we, we teach um, social styles, which we have, you know, four uh, key social styles that our customers are. And with those social styles, I think the biggest thing that we have to enable our teams with is recognizing that, you know, we predominantly might fall into one social style and we do a great job of communicating with that one type of customer, mm -hmm. but that means that we're missing the opportunity in three out of four of the other customers that we're talking to. Yeah. And so we have to be able to have that skill in communication to meet the person where they're comfortable and then get outside of our comfort zone because sometimes that's challenging. You're not hardwired to communicate in that certain methodology or that way. You might not prefer text. You might wanna pick up the phone and call somebody or you might be really slow at typing and so you hesitate to type out an email, but someone that's an analytical personality, they might want that kind of communication first before they proceed to having a verbal conversation or dialogue. Yeah, that's and important. Just being able to have the skills to adapt that's really where the rubber meets the road. Hello, everyone. I wanted to tell you about a workshop we're holding at NADA 2023. We're covering how EV adoption rates will impact fixed operations in the future. We'll show you real and meaningful data that might just put you at ease. Or maybe not, you'll have to come see. Come join us at our workshop, How Electric Vehicles Will Change Fixed Operations. We'll see you there.